Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Taylor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a picture like this into a picture like this using Adobe Photoshop. Now, I think this looks really good for things like Instagram or maybe even like Facebook. What I don't think this looks good for is if you're taking pictures, like if you're trying to be a photographer or if you're trying to, you know, take good photographs that are nice and clean. Like if you're taking someone's senior pictures, please do not do this. I do not think it looks that good. I just think it looks pretty creative and it looks nice for Instagram and stuff like that. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna import this picture that I took of my girlfriend and her sister. I'm not gonna mess around in camera raw at all. I'm just gonna, you know, leave it as is. I'll change some things around with the saturation here in a little bit. Um, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna go ahead, do a little crop action. I don't want too much on the sides. There, perfect. Um, then we're gonna go down here to our uh, adjustment layers. We're going to add a gradient map, but we're going to turn that off for now. We're going to add a curves and we're going to add two gradients. And let's put the curves on the bottom and turn everything else off and double click on the curves. And what we're going to do is we're going to mess around with these gray points and white points. So first off, I'm going to choose the gray point and I'm going to choose one of their pants. Both of their pants were gray, so it was really easy for me to choose a gray point and I think that makes the picture look a lot better. So here's after color grading, I guess you could say, or color correcting for about four seconds in Photoshop, turn this picture, which is kind of cold and gloomy, into this picture, which is a lot more, you know, sunny looking and stuff like that. I know it's snowy, so it is cold, but this was a lot happier of a photo, I think. So then we're gonna go ahead turn our gradient map on Obviously, this looks terrible go ahead and click on this up here and it'll open this gradient editor I'm gonna start with this the purple to orange and I'm gonna make the purple a little bit more blue press ok and then instead of setting this to normal, which I obviously looks terrible because it's just mapping the RGB values to RGB values on a, a gradient, um, we're going to set this to soft light and the effect is way too harsh as is. So let's just go ahead, lower the opacity down. I think that looks good. 30 to 40% maybe, depending on what your picture is and how it looks. You can also change the orange to like a more yellow, depending on you know, what your needs are. Mm, that's a little too yellow. I think this looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Next up is the gradient. For the first gradient, we're gonna go and we're gonna change it. We're gonna leave it to the, uh, the color fill to the translucent and we're going to change this to a light pink, like that, maybe a little lighter, I don't know. Press OK through all the options, double click on this again and change the angle so it's coming in where you think the light was coming in in the photo, so right there is OK and we're going to change this to screen. Obviously this is a little much so we're going to change the opacity again and I think this looks a lot better. So let's look at before the gradient right here and then after the gradient I think it looks better. It actually looks like light is shining through, it's a little pink. It, it's girly, but you know, this is obviously a girly photo. So I'm gonna leave that. I think that looks pretty decent. And let's let's check out what it looks like from the very beginning. So this is what we started with, you know, kind of sad, cold looking. And then we changed the color balance, added the gradient map to add a little bit more orange and blue to it. Then we added this light effect. So for our last gradient layer, we're gonna set it to this right here. It's this one in Photoshop. And then we're going to set it to this angle right here to screen and lower the opacity just like we did before. 32% looks about good and I'm actually going to lower this one a little bit too. And there we go. That's, that's it. So if you really liked this, if you think this was a really good effect, go ahead and check out my other stuff. I'm going to put it on the screen at the very end of the video. I have stuff on how to make desktop backgrounds how to make YouTube thumbnails, stuff like that. And in the future, I think I'm gonna do more of these kind of Instagram creativity filters, if you will. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.